iTunes 11 features a brand new mini player. To get to the mini player, there's a little icon next to the expand all in the top right corner, which can be found here. And if you click on it, you'll get this little itty bitty mini player that allows you to play your iTunes music uh, and uh, stay out of the way while you're working on other uh, workflows. Um, when you're not hovering over it, it tells you what's playing and what the album is and the artist. When you hover back over it with your mouse, uh, you can control the volume here. You can control what's coming up next, so you actually can see what song's going to play next here. Uh, and if there's a song that's coming up that you don't want to play, you can hit the little X and it will skip that song. Uh, or if there's a song that you like, you can hit the arrow on the right here and tell it to play next um, after the current song. And uh, rearrange music as you like. So this is a, a really nice, drastically different um, player than we've seen in the past. And if you are done with the mini player, just click on the little square under the close button and it will bring iTunes back to the way it was. Now here's a little Easter egg for you. There's actually another little hidden player that's built into iTunes that Apple doesn't really talk about. If you double click on the album art here at the top of iTunes, you'll get another type of little mini player, um, which is uh, uh, known as the album player. So it actually shows you this wonderful uh, art here of the album and again I can play and pause and if I go to the next song here it will change the album art and again if I hover back over I can see uh, the rest of the controls there so really cool uh, they got the little mini player plus don't forget you can also switch over to the album art mini player uh, as well Keep on rocking iTunes 11.